What is the importance of building a case study while preparing for your interview as a Scrum Master? Hello, welcome to the Scrum Chat Room. I'm, I am your host, Dr. Francis Mbunya, and we keep it real, guys. Uh, we are dealing with questions that are going to help you uh, to prepare for your next interview, but we try to handle the basic that many first time uh, Scrum Master are missing. Now, today we want to uh, address one key important factor that is really going to help you do really, really good in your next interview. Now, if you've watched some of my videos, you've heard me talk about build a case study, build a case study. What exactly do I mean by building a case study? Now, a case study help you to be more practical while you're talking. Let's say you uh, were asked to talk about what you did in your last position as a, as a Scrum Master and you've never really had any real life experience. Normally, what you're going to say is like, oh, I do um, spring planning, and then you can explain all the basic of spring planning, uh, daily stand up, you can explain all the dynamics, uh, review, retrospective, backlog refinement, you can explain all the dynamic. But what is going to be missing is that you will not be able to put that in context. So how do you put it in context to build a case study? Now, how do you build your case study to make sure that it aligns with your resume? That is what is very important. Now, if you look at the last position or the position you put as um, a Scrum Master in your resume, you need to be able to practically say exactly what product you were building while you were working with that company as a Scrum Master. This simply means that you don't just need to put companies there. You need to understand what the company uh, is doing practically and how a role of a Scrum Master can help that company to advance their goal. Let's take a common, a typical example, which I think many people are going to relate with. Um, if you're working maybe in a health industry or in, yeah, in the health sector and maybe you work in an assisted living. Now, if you look at practically what you, your day-to-day -day activities when you get to work, is simply making sure that you're documenting every incident, you're entering the time, if you're taking a break, if uh, uh, there's anything, supplies that need to be purchased and all of that, you're documenting the day-to-day -day activities. And normally, they normally used to do that on maybe on the um, worksheet and all of that, but now, most of the people they have like an uh, an ipad or a digital computer where you can document each of those uh, stuff in when you document them now uh, your manager or whosoever is there can be able to automatically see wherever they are what is going on right so now the people that build the system that you're using they are developers so if you were to be a scrum master using the same environment that you're working in you will say that I was helping a type of developer that were building an application system that was helping my company to be able to manage the way staff document the incident, their, their, their uh, timesheet and all of that. So this was, this was to make sure that we kind of really reduce the, 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 the challenges that um, the company was encountering with the use of uh, manual documentation and all of that. So um, I work with a team of developers and we do help to build the different interface that could allow the, uh, that could allow the documentation of these activities in a way that the managers and the, or the business owner, the manager at that time will be the, uh, uh, the customer, the customer, the business owner, or you just use my company will be able to get feedback on time. And this really kind of reduce, this was really helping them to reduce the lag and to minimize costs. Now, as simple as that. So that's a case study you just built. Now, let me say that um, you're working as a writer, right? And then you want to give an example um, of, of what you did as a Scrum Master. Now, if you're working as a writer, most often you will understand like, okay, um, if you have a company yourself, you understand that you need to be able to know exactly uh, what are the listings of the house, what are the pricing. So there's a, there's, a, there's a system which you need to key in all the data in order to pull uh, the, uh, the result that you want out. So 
those who build that systems are developer then the person who manage those who build that system if your company was using the scrum framework would be the scrum master right so you will say okay in my company i was working with xyz as a scrum master and they were building an application system that could be able to help um their 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 uh, the organization uh, easily uh, list out um the resources like houses and maybe land they are selling and properties to their client that the client could easily uh, sort it by location sort it by prices and other stuff so my team was helping my company build and optimize this uh, system as a scrum master that's the case study now in most of the people that work in your bank um as a scrum master most often you build an application system that help the organization or that help the the bank to be able to effectively uh troubleshoot some of the challenges that are, are um some of the challenges that the clients are facing it might be filing a claim it might be identi identifying fraud and other stuff so the bank actually one of the reasons you realize that they are uh, demanding a high number of scrum master is because they need to build a lot of security system a lot of application system maybe to manage loan maybe to manage fraud maybe to manage the different system and they have different uh teams or developer working with all of these um uh application in order to help them so if you're working as a scrum master in a bank you're definitely not managing money right you're definitely not managing a team of uh, uh tell us no you what you're doing is that you are working with a develop uh, development team what a team of developers that are helping build an application system that's solving a problem it might be a security issue it might be reducing the the time the feedback between uh when a client's lock in in a new location and other stuff so you need to pick something really specific and you need to be able to discuss uh specifically on that okay that's how you build a case study uh but if it is not clear definitely you can reach out to me i'm gonna put some links in this uh video you can uh, text me you can book an appointment you can send me an email i actually have people who want to land that job in less than no time not just on one-on-one -on -one. we have a mastermind group a group of communities that are learning you're learning from what others are doing you're improving uh, what you're doing and we have this fast environment of feedback that is definitely going to short uh, shorten the time that you want to get to your next um uh you want to land that job okay but to next time again i'm gonna do my next video is going to be about um your question uh tell me what you did in your last job tell me what you were doing in your last position as a scrum master these are questions that you must get or most often 90 percent is going to come in one way or the other and you want to be ready when they actually come thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video